WikiLeaks is a non-state hostile intelligence service. Julian Assange is a high tech terrorist. A traitor, a treasonous. He has to answer for what he has done. Assange faces up to 175 years in prison for publishing classified documents exposing U.S. war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. He has been detained since the 7th of December 2010 in one form or another. And we are now here after years of imprisonment, seeing whether he will actually be extradited or not. Julian Assange is a hero. WikiLeaks has performed this extraordinary public service. If you think Assange is a traitor, he's a rapist, he's a narcissist, he's a hacker, I don't blame you because you have been deceived. And if you think you've not been deceived, that's normal because otherwise it wouldn't be deception. A plan to destroy both WikiLeaks and Julian was laid out in a secret document dated 8th of March 2008. The authors were the Cyber Counterintelligence Assessment Branch of the US Defense Department. These are David and Goliath battle. Julian is like our David. Julian took on the most powerful countries in the world. I don't know whether Julian fully foresaw what he was likely to get. And I started really digging into this case, and the deeper I got into it, the more dirt came out. But it was not on the side of Assange and WikiLeaks, it was on the side of the government. We now have confirmed that there were plans to kidnap Julian here in the center of London, or even assassinate him. This U.S. extradition case has been falling apart since the moment it started because it was born rotten. It was born at a time when the CIA was plotting to assassinate Julian. The level of unlawful activity in the pursuit of Julian Assange should be enough to have this entire case thrown out. All we have ever asked is that states obey their own laws. In the trial of Julian, what they did was so grotesque and so shameless. They used witnesses who later said they were lying. This was not accepted by the British court. They were not interested in listening to the arguments. The United States has applied for his extradition, but he's treated as a criminal in this glass corridor in order to talk to his lawyers. He had to kneel down press his ear to the glass so he could hear what they had to say and to talk to him. It was absurd. I don't care what country you are, you are not going to have your laws apply to our citizens when they're not even in your bloody country. And our finding was that uh, Mr. Assange shows all the symptoms of a person who has been exposed to psychological torture. Psychological torture is by no means torture light. He had a stroke while subjected to the most intense psychological pressure possible. In this age of coercion, one of the most grotesque forms of coercion is war. If wars can be started by lies, peace can be started by truth. The lives of our families are important to all of us to all of us. And this is what Julian's trying to prevent. What he's saying is that if we knew the truth about wars, then they wouldn't happen. What Assange and WikiLeaks did in 2010 was the biggest game changer in my lifetime. It exposed once and for all the lies, the lies that the wars were based on and the lies that the wars are. They will go after anyone who dares challenge the right of power of the oligarchy without frontiers to commit crimes against humanity in our name without our knowledge. Press freedom is steadily deteriorating around the world. It's getting worse year by year as journalists are targeted for reporting the truth. Everybody should care because it impacts us all. This goes to the fundamentals of press freedom and of democracy. It's not a legal battle at all. It's a political battle. It is based on hateful and spiteful revenge of a powerful entity that wants to get back at the individual who exposed the truth about it. It is that simple. 
for 5,000 years, human civilization has been battling to establish, maintain, and defend our right to free speech, free expression, and a free press. With the formation of large civilizations came order, structure, and harsh restrictions on speech. We've been in a struggle to claw back our freedoms ever since. The persecution of Julian has been a kind of long, slow form of killing somebody. I've taken so many steps for so many years, and I feel like Julian's life might be coming to an end. We have the right to exist. We have a right to live. And we have a right for this nightmare to come to an end once and for all. Humans descend in an unbroken line, through generations, through eons of time. Whether we realize it or not, we are joined in a single strand of a shared destiny. The powerful would have us in chains made of metal. But if we can all put our minds together, our hearts together and our hands together, we may find that hearts that yearn for justice are stronger than cold iron. This is generally the view of people, oh, we don't know much about Assange. Well, you should know, because whether you know it or not, he is fighting for you, and you're right to know. They are about to take every right away from you. You will not be able to fight for any other cause. We are talking about the fundamentals here. WikiLeaks just succeeded in finding documents that existed and making them available to the world public. What could be more honorable than that?